one. Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Public disclaimer before this video this video is not suitable for young children, nor is it a representation of the Milwaukee Admirals, Florida Everglades, Nashville Predators, or our sponsor, Hockey Locker. This is simply something we just wanted to talk about for you, the fans. All right. So, but now that we got that out of the way, that is why our straight back black area in the background is black blurred out. This is not, has nothing to do with them. This strictly is something that affects the hockey world and what affects the hockey world affects us all. Well, not necessarily, but you get one thing. Right. It, it, what affects one team affects another team. Or at least this case, it could be said. <coughs> right. All right, Chicago Blackhawks. Months and months and months ago, we did a video where we told you guys with more news about the Blackhawks sexual assault by a former coach or former assistant coach and the allegations, we would talk about more, whether he was innocent or guilty at the time when right. more came out. Well, today, oof, oh, was there news. Let's just get it out of the way. First off, the Blackhawks were fined $2 million. Now, I know that's a drop in the hat for them. Right. But $2 million, the organization was fined for the mishandling of it. That's not even if this dude's guilty. There can right. be more fines, more penalties, more problems. And by association with this, Stan Bowman, who was hired the year this happened as GM, built those three Stanley Cup winning that, that, that those, those three Stanley Cup winning teams for the Blackhawks, stepped down as GM and president of operations. All right. So let's get into a little more of it. All right. First off, if he is, if the guy if the guy that did this is guilty, I want not only fines, but I want legal prosecution. Right. I want this man to go to jail and never see the light of the day. Sexual crimes are at what I, I almost pulled out the SVU intro. <laughs> mm. Because that is not that I mean to joke about it, but it is literally they are probably some of the worst crimes because they don't only affect you physically, they affect you mentally. Right. If you get into a fist fight, it's only going to hurt. Unless you're being bullied. Bullying's not cool. No. Nope. Um, now, um, the NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman says that the fine was a result of the Blackhawks' inadequate internal procedures and the insignificant, inanimate, uh, or untimely response in the handling of the matter related to the incident. Basically, meaning that they swept it under the rug for a decade. Right. Not cool. And it took the guy a decade to get somebody to listen to him. Right. And that's the, st the case in most cases when it's a high level, something like this high level. Because nobody wants to hear it. Right. Um, our Rocky Wirtz and Danny Wirtz, who are the owners and see, uh, Rocky Wirtz, who is the chair owner and chairman, and Danny Wirtz, who is the owner and CEO, um, accepted. Uh, Bowman's resignation. Um, he made a mistake. And in your first year in GM, you, you make your mistakes, but you don't want to make one this big. Right. 
Uh, that's a fireable offense. Bowman's been with the Blackhawks since 2000. Named general manager in July 14th of 2009. Became president of operations December 16th, 2020. Um, he was the first general manager to win three Stanley Cups. Uh, 2010, 2013, 2015 in NHL salary cap era. Um, in 20, uh, 2010, uh, Kyle Davidson replaced Bauman. It was named uh, Hockey Operations Intern and what is now was a named assistant to the general manager the prior season. Bowman stepped down also not only as GM of the Blackhawks, but of the United States men's ice hockey team for the 2022 Beijing Olympics. Right. That leaves the American hockey team in a bit of a jam to fill that hole quickly. Right. And this is a statement by Bowman. 11 years ago, while serving my first year as a general manager, I was made aware of a potentially inappropriate behavior by that video coach involving a player. Bowman said in statement, I promptly reported the matter to the pres then president of the team and CEO, John McDonough, who committed, committed to handling the matter. I learned this year that the inappropriate behavior involved the serious allegations of the sexual nature. I re relayed, relied on the direction of my superior that he would take the appropriate reaction. Looking back now, knowing that he did not handle the matter properly, regret assuming he would do so. So, I mean, in his statement, I found nothing wrong. He admitted that his mistake pretty much cost him ever working in the NHL again. Right. Um, that, is, that is horrible. Um, There was a 20-year-old hockey player who was a member of the Blackhawks American League hockey team alleged he was sexually assaulted by Aldridge, who was the video manager at the time, or video coach at the time, on May 8th or 9th. This was during their cup run in 2010. Okay, so there's a 20 year old hockey player that this happened to. You're a rookie, most likely. Right. Hey. This is not good. Um, then um, on May 12th or uh, through the night, sometime between May 12th and 19th, it was reported that he told. Senior Director of Hockey Administration, Al McIsaac, uh, was told that, uh, about the alleged encounter. Isaac told the mental skills coach and team counselor, Jim Gary, to speak to him. <laughs> All right. This is how bad this is, because Quinville said he had no clue. This is all given records by the Blackhawks to the league. Then Senior Vice President Jay Bunk, Bowman, Mike Isaac, and then Assistant Kev GM Kevin Sheveldale, who is now the uh, GM for the Winnipeg Jets, and then Coach Joel Quinville, who is now the head coach of the Florida Panthers, 
two teams this could spin off and hit. Right. With Gary to discuss what, what they learned about Audridge and the player. Um, this player wants to remain anonymous. We're going to give him his ability to do so. I'm not going to go right. over all right. One witness recalled that during the meeting, Mr. McDonough and Coach Pudville made comments about the challenge of getting to the Stanley Cup and the desire to focus on the team, which Shar, one of the guys who was fired, Or Shar is the uh, guy doing the investigation, which what is clear is that after being informed about Aldridge and the se alleged sexual, no action was taken for three weeks. June 14th, 2010, according to the investigation, McDonough reported that information that the, to the Blackhawks Director of Human Resources and Aldridge was given the option to undergo an investigation or resign. He chose to resign. Mm -hmm. McDonough was fired on April 27th of 2020. Shevelle has been the GM of the Winnipeg Jets since 2011. Quinn Bell, who coached the Blackhawks to three Stanley Cup titles, was fired on the November 6th, 2018. The name the coach to the Florida Panthers on April 8th of 2019. I've shared everything with the investigation in matters with the Jenner and Blocks investigation program. Uh, There's a company that independently hired by the NHL. Mm -hmm. That the reflection of today's chivalrous statements released by the Jets. Further, I look forward to my discussion with Commissioner Benton at the soonest possible date to continue cooperating fully with the International Hockey League. I reserve the, any further comments until that conversation will be conducted. So basically, he will not make any more comments until the investigation is closed. Right. Uh, Quinville previously, some of them and Quinville previously said that they were not aware of the allegations, what it, which Obviously, according to the Blackhawks, is not true. Right. Um, that's going to spin back and hit them, I think. I think so, too. At the time of the complaint. So, if the complaint's not climbing up the ladder, right. and then they right. have the but the coach is sitting there saying when it got to him three to five days later that they needed to, what, on the 23rd? Um, to discuss this, they focus on playing the games, playing, winning the cup. Now, I understand how important winning a Stanley Cup is. Right. Everything to every team. Every team wants it every year. Yep. But to, at this point, there is no necessary need to say, hey, we could have handled this. Compensate John Doe, fire Aldrich, let the authorities deal with him. So you turn him into the authorities. Because this isn't the first thing I've heard about the Blackhawks and this kind of thing. I've heard about it in Rockford, too. And I've heard about it for years. It's not just something similar. Um, and it's coming from their fans. It's not coming from the them particularly. It's coming from the fans, I'm hearing it. towards. Th this is from the team to the fans. Right. This is not good stuff at all. No, it isn't. The way things keep going, they do a full-on investigation to the whole organization. There's going to be a lot of people getting hurt. Right. And this is not this is this is not what I want because I have friends down there in the Rockford organization. Me and John have John's met them. Mm -hmm. 
and they're good people. They've always been kind to us. The people of Rockford, their fans, great people. The team, yep. great team. I love going back and forth with them on Twitter. We have a lot of fun. They always yell at me for changing their goalie's name on Wikipedia to Sim. <laughs> mm. Okay, I only did it once, but that was before I was doing this. <laughs> Still mm -hmm. funny, but, you know, I started a trend that wasn't really a good one. All right. Another notice about that. You know, uh, Batman plan says he plans to arrange personal meetings in the near future with the two. I will reserve judgment on the next steps, if any, with respect to them. Basically meaning, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do till I meet with them and right. tell them what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because that could just dictate the whole pace of the meeting. Right, it can. Um, you know, if a guy knows that he's in trouble, he's going to, you know, kiss butt until he can't kiss the butt no more. If I want right. to put it that way. Yeah. You know, um, basically getting on your knees and begging and pleading to keep your job. Right. Um, in other news, regarding Bowman McDonough, Blunk McIsaac, if they wish to re-enter the league at any capacity, at some capacity, I will require a meeting with them in advance of their accepting of any NHL club related position in order to determine the appropriate condition of which such new employment may might take place. Right. So if Bowman or McDonough or Bonk or McIsaac wish to work in the NHL at any time, or even the AHL at any time, uh, I right. have to deal with this first, which they should. Yeah. Uh, further along, um, within the next coming weeks, we should have more. Yep. Um, as I said, I, I don't know how I, I truly feel about this. All I know is that it's bad for us. Yeah. Um, John, if you have anything you want to say, go for it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I think you covered almost everything, man. I mean, uh, I don't know if the fine was enough, though. I don't know if it was either. I mean, a lot of people look at it, though, and say that's a lot of money, but to that organization, I, I'm not sure that it was enough. I mean, you, you, when it comes to something like this, that a decade, I'd do 10 million, a million a year, 11 years, 11 million, a million a year in fines. That's $11 million you have to pay because you wanted to sweep it under the rug. Right. Because let's be real, they would have fined them first round picks. They didn't ever got guys like to bring it. Right. You know, this is this is all bad because this is it is all bad. It, it's bad for the league. It makes the league look bad. The the one saving grace in this, the one time I will commend Batman is at least he is going, hey, I'm gonna do what I can here. Right. The max fine right now with COVID you could give us two million dollars, which he gave. Right. And that was to an organization. Max fine you can give a player is 10000 So, I mean, you know, or not 10000 Uh, I think I saw the max was uh, 250000 was the max fine you can get. And, 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 and in a personal matter, you know, what, at what point do you look at the captains of those teams? That player had to talk with other people. Right. And even inside Rockford's organization. Because Rockford has been their affiliate since 2007. Right. And, and like I said, as much as I love Rockford's organization and their, and their fans and the team, but I love going there and I love the people there. I don't want to see anybody hurt out of this anymore. There's been enough hurt. Yes. Um, so, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let us know down in the comments what your thoughts was the fine enough or was it not enough? Is the league doing enough or is it not doing enough? 
Um, let us know your thoughts because we're going to be coming back to this probably in the next couple weeks. Great. Um, whenever we know more. And I, I hope this has a happy ending. I Me too. Doubt it. I doubt it. These stories rarely do. When you have a big organization with the uh, bankroll that they do, they just pay people off. Not that I'm saying that that's going to be the case, but right. it happens. I want a happy ending. I go in expecting it to not to be one so that I'm not disappointed. So I'm going to be real with you how I feel and how I'm taking it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, for those of you that don't watch our Facebook channel and don't see some of our lives over there, go over there, check out some of our stuff. John and his wife do all the graphics over there. Um, they do all our templates on their page, so uh, give them some love, give us some likes over there as well. Thank you guys for watching, um, and we will see you guys on Friday. Yep.